Ariel Hawani in Las Vegas gearing up for UFC 146 alongside Stefan Struve who meets LeVar Johnson this Saturday night live on pay-per-view and Stefan it is good to see you again and thank you for the time obviously things have changed for you over the last couple weeks you're now facing LeVar Johnson what do you think when you first heard that Mark was pulling out of the fight and now a guy who just fought three weeks ago was gonna fight you well, you know, before I, uh, I got, went to the UFC, I, I took pretty much all of my fights on short notice. You know, they asked me uh, one week or two weeks before the fight if I wanted to fight, and I pretty much beat all of those guys. You know, you know, if he has got the confidence that he can beat me, you know, why not? You know, make some extra money. Good for him. He's on a bit of a roll here. Are you impressed with what he's been doing? Yo, know, he, he scored two nice knockouts, but um, I think uh, Pat made a big, big mistake of letting him put him up against the fence and don't move away you know if you're gonna do that with him yeah that, that you're gonna play in his fight Joey Beltran did the same you know but if he's gonna charge at you and come at you and you do one step to the left or one step to the right his momentum is gone and if you if he's gonna keep doing that for one round he's gonna get tired so you know so you have a win over Pat Barry a lot of people have you obviously ranked above Joey Beltran you look at those two fights you say okay they were impressive but those guys aren't me he won't be able to do to me what he did to them yeah for sure they didn't First of all, they are not as well-rounded as I am, you know, and his weak point is his ground game. So he might be a little worried about me taking him down and work my ground game on him, you know, so. He's obviously a big puncher, heavy-handed. People still talk about your chin. What do you say to those critics that say that if he tags you, it may be a short night? Um, well, I don't think those people saw all my fights. I, you know, I took a couple beatings in the past and, you know, I, I survived, came back, and I think you need a pretty good chin for that, you know. I lost a couple of fights against some of the hardest punchers in MMA, you know, but I think that was more um, the fact that I wasn't using my reach well. And, you know, anybody who's going to take those punches will go down, you know. If you're going to give those guys those opportunities, you know, to, to, to hit you wherever they want to hit you, you know, that's not good. But that's, that's not going to happen again. You know, my last uh, four fights, I didn't have a, a scratch on my face. So, you know, I plan to fight my fight, use my footwork, use my jab, my kicks. And, uh, you know, stay away from the haymakers and then you won't be able to touch me. So. It's funny to see you back here in Vegas Memorial Day weekend. It was a year ago that you yeah. fought on this card. And uh, a lot has changed, Plus. right? I mean, you look, you look back. Obviously, that night wasn't a good night for you yeah. against Travis Brown. You look back. How much have, have things changed for you personally and career-wise? Uh, I had a, uh, a new trainer to my team, you know, and he's been uh, working really hard with me on my stand-up, too. And uh, that, that has been really, really good. I got a lot bigger, a lot stronger since that fight. Uh, my last two fights, I fought really, really calm, and um, I didn't do that in the in the fight with Travis. He obviously caught me after I made a stupid mistake of throwing that knee, you know. And if if I would have been as calm as I was my last two fights, then I think I could have won that fight too, you know. Dana always talks about just guys getting comfortable in the octagon, and then you start to see who they really are yeah. as a fighter. Do you feel as though you are finally comfortable as a UFC fighter? I'm getting more comfortable every single time, but I, I don't think I showed uh, the fans and. Uh, everybody around the world that how good I am on my feet you know they saw my ground game they, 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 they saw how fast I can you know throw up submissions and uh, they've seen a little bit of my stand up but I really would just want to you know push the pace like I did the, uh, my, my last fight with Dave Herman the second round they saw a little bit a, a couple of glimpses of what I can do on the feet you know just make combinations with kicks and punches and pick them apart you know and he didn't know what to do and you know that's 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 pretty much what I want to uh, you know show in the, in, the, in the auction this, this Saturday. What do you think of LeVar's ground game? Um, you know, Pat Barry almost submitted him. <laughs> and his last two fights in strike force, he, uh, he lost uh, against Shane Del Rosario and um, Sean Jordan via submission, you know. And they didn't have an awful lot of trouble taking the, uh, LeVar down. So uh, I don't think uh, his ground game is near as good as mine, you know. I think he's in a world of trouble when I take him down. Uh, you know, final thing, obviously, you talk about the, the change of your body. Uh, how much do you expect to weigh going into this fight? You, you, you keep growing, but in the last fight you were a little less, and so, yeah, so well, what do you expect to be this time? That happens with heavyweights. You know, we eat a lot, and, you know, I, I uh, make the flight over here. Last week I was 263 in Holland, and when I came in on Monday I was 257 here, you know, so that's, uh, you know, just a couple of pounds, you know, but I'm, I'm around 260, so I'm, I'm feeling really good. That's the most important thing, and a lot of people are still saying, like, you have to go up to 285 and whatever, not, you know, but we've been working really hard on my, my conditioning too, you know, I think that's one of the most important things in every division. If you have a guy that is 260 pounds and, you know, can go three, five minute rounds without going, you know, getting tired, that's, you know, that's a huge problem. And 
Now here's the real final thing. A lot of people were upset, including myself, and I know probably you as well, and Mark Hunt, that you weren't going to fight him. Such a fascinating matchup, uh -huh. given your styles and your background and whatnot. He may be healthy when this fight is over and you're ready to fight again. Is that still a fight that interests you? For sure, and I think it uh, interests Mark, Mark too, you know, because we already did a training camp to fight each other, you know, so we'll see what UFC thinks after this fight, and if I get to win this fight, that would be uh, an awesome matchup for, uh, you know, just uh, another step on the ladder. So. Thank you very much, and good luck on Saturday. Thank you.